The director of national intelligence released a report yesterday showing the number of reported UFO sightings has gone up in recent years. The Pentagon has now collected 510 reports of unidentified flying objects, many of which are flying in sensitive military airspace. And while there is no evidence of extraterrestrials, they still pose a threat. So let's bring in Brett Tingley to dig deeper into all of this. He's an editor at Space.com. Uh, so what stood out to you in this report? Uh, what stood out to me is that uh, while many of these reports cannot be characterized, that is, they cannot be defined, uh, some of them still appear to display flight characteristics that are really advanced, really beyond what our aircraft can do. Hmm. Unfortunately, in many of these uncharacterized reports, uh, there's not enough detailed data to really make a uh, determination of what these unidentified objects might be. So is that when we say there are nearly 200 sightings that remain uncharacterized, was that the primary reason because there just isn't enough information, you can't see them well? Or is it really like, you know, here's a list of uh, the things that we know and that, uh, that, uh, that are in the sky and these are not them? Well, you know, it's important to remember that many of these sightings happen in just a fraction of a second or mm. a few seconds. You have aviators who have so many different things on their mind when they're operating these multi-million dollar aircraft. Uh, their sensors pick up something strange. They zoom by it in a matter of, uh, you know, a second or two, and that's all they got. The report mentions that in many of these incidents, uh, we, we kind of depend on the accurate recollection of these aviators to to remember exactly what they saw up there in the sky. And so a lot of times, you know, we have just an incomplete picture of what they saw. Uh, a few hundred of these reports were found to be airborne clutter, things like birds or even shopping bags up in the sky. Over 100 were found to be balloons. So in many cases, these are pretty uh, benign, pretty normal objects up there in the sky. But, you know, these uh, advanced military sensors are detecting them. And now we have a formalized procedure for aviators to file reports when they do see something they can't identify. So then explain the growing concern, uh, as you point out, uh, over airspace safety highlighted in this report. Right. Well, you know, even something like a plastic bag, if it's up in the sky, if it gets sucked into the jet engine of, say, an F-18, it can cause a lot of damage. Uh, we've seen a, a wide proliferation of drones, even off-the-shelf drones in recent years that have um, wound up in sensitive airspace near nuclear power facilities, near military facilities. And something like a drone can certainly do a lot of damage if it happens to have a mid-air collision with an aircraft. So it, it, one of the big conclusions of this report is that the skies are just getting cluttered with, with stuff. And as uh, sensors and cameras on aircraft become more advanced, they're seeing a lot more of this stuff up in the air, and we need a process for aviators to be able to file reports when they see them. Yeah, I was actually surprised at how few of these um, sightings were drones, because mm. it just seems like everyone's got a drone nowadays, and, uh, right. and they're taking pictures of their vacations mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, so this report was delayed. Do we know why? Oh, we don't. You know, there's been a lot of speculation about why it has been delayed. Uh, one of the the most common conclusions I've seen is that it was just uh, bureaucratic inertia. Mm. Things in the federal government move slow. This report was supposed to be filed in October, but of course in November we had midterm elections. Uh, we saw with the um, vote to confirm the Speaker of the House how slow mm -hmm. the government and Congress can be sometimes. So there's no big reason that has been given why it was delayed other than, you know, the federal government sometimes has delays, especially when it comes to, you know, policy like this report. This report was mandated by last year's National Defense Authorization Act. And so now the Office of the Director of National Intelligence is required to file an annual report with Congress. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of things just move slow through the halls of Congress. So you can't do that when you're talking about UFOs, mm -hmm. because in that space, in the gaps, I'm pretty sure if I get on Reddit right now, there's somebody who's got like a full explanation. Right. Yeah, you know, the conspiracy oh, yeah. theorists operate in the gaps, so... You can't dilly-dally right. on that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, Brett Tingley, thank you very much. Thank you.